Welcome to LaTeX in under seconds. If you want to create a table, I would really encourage you to use the environment begin a table. What are we specifying here inside the square braces? Where we want the table to be located. The table can be located at the top, at the bottom of the page or here. Let me remove here and now the table can only be at the top or at the bottom. So as you can see, it's appearing at the bottom of my page. Now that we have reverted that change, we can see that the table is appearing after this paragraph. After begin table, we often want to use the centering because we want our table to be centered. And after that, nested inside the begin table, we begin tabular. Inside tabular, we are going to specify the table itself. We can specify also a caption and a label. And this label, we are going to be able to reference it in the text, as we did here. So every time you're going to add a new table to your document, this reference is going to be updated automatically. Let me show you very quickly. I've added another table and LaTeX has updated automatically the reference for us. After begin tabular, inside curly braces, we can specify how each column is going to be aligned. In this case, I specified that I want the first column to be left aligned, the second column to be center aligned, and the third column to be right aligned. Of course, I can easily change that. As you can see now, the first table has gone because we commented out, and we can see that under unit, all the items right aligned. If you want to add vertical line between the second and the third column, we can just use a vertical bar here. We want to have an horizontal line at the top of our table. We are specifying the entries in the header. Each entry has to be separated by an ampersand symbol. It doesn't matter that they are all nicely formatted as here. As you can see, I can remove the white spaces. We can use a double backward slash just to go in a new line. And then we're going to add another horizontal line after the adding. After that, we can specify each entry in our table. Each item has to be separated by an N percent, and then at the end of each row, we're going to put two backward slashes. We are going to end everything with an horizontal line, and then we're going to end the tabular environment. Another very nice thing that I want to show you is how to add on top of this header row, an header which comprises two columns. We can use the multi-column command. We are specifying the multi-column, stretches along two columns, and it's going to be center. And what we want to write in this element is the word item. And then after that, we don't want anything. Of course, we can change everything in here. We can see that it spans three columns, it's going to be left aligned, and it's going to be items. Keep in mind that here we are saying that it's three column wide, so we have to remove this N percent, which was empty, and we are adding also a C line here. This C line is just the line here at the bottom that is going to span only two columns. Of course, you can change that, and for instance, we can specify that this only goes from column two to column three. If you want to find out more about how to export a table from Excel or Python into LaTeX, check my video that it should appear in a card at the end. If you like my video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. See you next time.